Edmund Strelitzky was the first Polish explorer who travelled around the world for scientific research purposes. He is considered one of the most outstanding researchers of Australia. Zelensky arrived in Sydney, Australia's largest city, in the April 1839. He expected to find himself in a crime capital. However, he experienced a pleasant surprise, which he summed up with words. Zostałem jednak tej nocy na ulicach Sydney obyczajność i spokój jakiego nie oglądałem nigdy w żadnym porcie Zjednoczonego Królestwa. beginning of 19th century on the map of Australia there were still many white spots. Only the coast were penetrated as and known. Strelitzky was urged to undertake trips to the north, but he preferred to head south, considering the most urgent examination of then unknown section of the Great Dividing Range. During his four-year stay in Australia and Tasmania, he led three expeditions into the continent, each of them abounding in new and valuable discoveries. 
On his first trip into the Australian mainland, Strzelecki set off in July 1839. Its road led into the little known Blue Mountains. The terrain was secluded and difficult to cross. In his diary, the researcher noted, Jałem do wyboru tylko jedną drogę, iść naprzód. Zdwoiłem przeto tempu marszu, wchodziłem do góry i schodziłem na dół. Spinałem się i zjeżdżałem. Czołgałem się, aż znalazłem się w środku lasu z wysokimi i gęstymi paprociami, uginającymi się pod ciężarem podającego wciąż deszczu. Mój dalszy marsz przypominał raczej pływanie niż chud. Finally, Strzelecki found a human settlement unmarked on the map and continued his journey. Luck was on his side as he found traces of gold near Bathurst. After returning to Sydney in November, he met the governor of New South Wales, George Gipps, and showed him gold samples. Gipps, however, asked Strzelecki not to disclose information about this discovery. Streletsky met his request and the gold rush, which played such an important role in the development and settlement of Australia, was delayed by many years. February 15, 1840, Streletsky climbed the 2,228 meters peak, which turned out to be the highest mountain of Australia. A Polish researcher called it Mount Kostruszka. He described this moment in his diary from the expedition. Szczególny wygląd tego wierzchołka uderzył mnie tak silnie przez swe podobieństwo do kopca w Krakowie, usypanego na grobie bohatera narodowego Kościuszki, że choć w cudzym kraju, na cud cudzej ziemi, ale wśród ludu ceniącego wolność i jej obrońców, nie mogłem powstrzymać się od tego, żeby nie nadać temu szczytowi nazwy Góra Kościuszki. The next 
extensive view from this mountain peak allowed the explorer to locate the source of the Murray River, the longest river on the continent. After crossing Dividing Range, Streletsky entered a land untouched by a white man's foot. In honour of the Governor of New South Wales, he called it Glipsland. Gippsland, discovered by Streletsky, also had a more dangerous face. Mountainous terrain cut by deep rifts and streams, overgrown with spiny bushes, became more and more difficult to go on. At the end of the expedition, there was no supplies and they ate meat of hunted animals, mainly koalas. That is how Streletsky described this difficult stage of journey. Wkrótce konie wierzchowe i juczne osłabły i trzeba było je zostawić. Moi przyjaciele i nasi ludzie spieszeni i zmuszeni do nieszenia na plecach swoich rzeczy po paru dniach zostali do po doprowadzeni prawie do ostatecznego wyczerpania. Wreszcie po tysiącnych niebezpieczeństwach, gdzie groziło mi, że ich utracę spodobało się opatrzności, że ich doprowadziłem do portfili. On May 19, 1840, the exhausted participants of the expedition reached Melbourne, which was then a small settlement. Streletsky spent 41 days there preparing a detailed report on the expedition and a map of Gippsland. Tasmania was the next Australian stop for Streletsky. The Polish researcher spent over two years on the island organizing free expeditions inland and working in his research laboratory in Lancaster. After completing field tests in Tasmania, Streletsky returned to Sydney, where he prepared a giant geological map of the areas he discovered. He has travelled over 11,000 kilometres on the Australian continent. Paul Edmund Streletsky left Australia on the 22nd of April, 1843, leaving Sydney on board the Anna Robertson, the sailing ship. The road to Europe was slow and finally on the 25th of October 1843 he reached London, thus ending his nine-year scientific journey around the world. <laughs>